In this video, we will show you how to filter for tokens on a blockchain. The Ethereum blockchain has its own base token called Ether. On top of the Ethereum blockchain, there are other tokens. These tokens include USDC and USDT, among other tokens. Because USDT and USDC are the most commonly used stablecoin tokens, you will very likely come across them in your investigations. Breadcrumbs allows investigators to easily trace these additional tokens when they are conducted on the Ethereum blockchain. Start by going to the blue toolbar on the left side of the graph. Select the filter graph icon at the top, and then click the Set Filters button. A pop-up box will appear. This lets you select either one of the two stablecoin tokens, USDC or USDT, to filter transactions for. You can also choose from a variety of Ethereum-based tokens that you may want to filter for. The tokens that appear in this list are ones that Breadcrumbs has identified that this address has transacted with. After selecting your token, always move the Hide Ether Transactions toggle selection to Yes before you press Apply at the bottom right of the pop-up box. This ensures you will only see token transactions that you have filtered for. If needed, you can also filter for specific dates that these token transactions took place. By utilizing these token filters, users are able to easily see the flow of different tokens in one graph. As you can see in this example, the only relationships that now appear on the graph are USDT, also known as Tether. If we click on the node of an address, it will show the amount of USDT used in this transactions in more detail.